So my field of expertise is neuroprosthetics, uh, um, brain machine interfaces, and uh, functional electrical stimulation therapy. We really make a difference for, for patients. So when you have a patient come in who can't walk, you work with the patient for 8 to 13 weeks, and then he walks away with a walker. That's what makes the difference for me. We do the same for hand function and other therapies. So that's where my focus is. I'm absolutely convinced that functional electrical stimulation therapy is the next big thing. Because it's non-invasive, we restore voluntary function in patients, it's very cheap, it can be delivered in every hospital. So I think this is the big one. And it's attainable, right? Stem cells and this technology is exciting, has a great promise, but the horizon of this coming is there. And I think right now, with some technologies like pressure sore, pressure monitoring, we can prevent pressure sores. We can help people restore their standing and walking. Not necessarily walking, but let's say grasping, we can do that very easily, we demonstrate it. So I think those type of things not necessarily immediately changing the, the disease or curing a disease, but rather providing technology and tools to actually play with the, with the system, neuromuscular system and, and, the, and, and the brain to actually take the maximum of already existing resources to move the patient up. And then as other things start catching up, as the stem cells become alive in a sense of, they, they show some change, then you will still use this technology because once you plug the stem cell, you still need to train the patients. You have to get the stem cells to realize what their function is and to learn what they have to do. So that's where I think doing small things which make changes of 10, 15% or 20% and we can do them right now, this is where we should focus.